Phil Blue Dot. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. We're sitting with the Iceman, Wim mm-hmm. Hoff. Oh yeah. Tommy is uh, Tommy is next to me with his guitar primed and ready, as always. <laughs> and so is my guitar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. Uh, so, <laughs> so before we throw to Wim and introduce him properly, as always, we're going to go to Tommy for Tommy's tribute. Beautiful. Well, firstly, Wim, can I say pleasure to meet you, my friend. Um, as I said to you just before, I've been uh, doing those cold showers recently, and I can't wait to talk uh, more about this. I thought, um, given that the fact that um, we're talking about cold and ice and all that sort of stuff, I'd do a cover of Vanilla Ice. Uh, Vanilla Ice. ice. Baby. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. He said it's called Ice Ice Wimmy. So, ice Ice Wimmy. We'll see how we go. I, hopefully, I don't have to get the copyright from them, but we'll see how we go. All right. Here we go. Right, stop, collaborate and listen The Iceman's back with a brand new Melbourne mission To rid the world of depression and sadness To say the least, this guy's a freaking badass He got to the top of Kilimanjaro He was only wearing shorts Oh my god, Mr. Hoff, it amazes me that with all this ice, your manhood is still intact. I'm so excited to have you on the show. My ice man, let the conversation flow. (laughs) Cool, guys. Ice, ice, win me. Welcome. Yeah, right on. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> I like the riff, man. Yeah, yeah. it's an original. <laughs> you were doing some freestyle Still. last night up on the stage, Wim. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. I like uh, playing guitar, you know, the too, and singing. It's the joy of life itself. Why don't you tell us about um, getting a chance to do some rapping with Jay Z? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not so impressed with the uh, people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm uh, more impressed in the. Uh, Taking away unnecessary suffering in the world. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. That's what we're here to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Wim? Basically, um, tell us about who you are, where you came from, a bit of background. Yeah, no, I'm from the Netherlands. And uh, and Netherlands is quite moist in the winter. It is cold and everybody is like sitting inside. And I thought, why not go outside? Mm. (laughs) I use the cold and uh, make it your friend. And somehow I managed uh, in that uh, really good. And it made me uh, like saying, uh, hey man, depression because of winter, dark, uh, little uh, days, uh, uh, light span, etc. It uh, affects the people, you know. So I made from the winter a summer because mm. I found out I was very capable of increasing, adapting into the cold, cold waters. And do anything what people do in the summer, I do in the winter. Mm. So your, uh, your impression, your feeling, your experience of what winter does with you, with the light, that serotonin, melatonin cycle and all that, the hormonal uh, homeostasis, it, it all changes. Mm. So when you find out that, then why not go into that uh, deeper? Oh, so we can change the environment. We can change our experience in the depth. Wow, that's power, man. Mm. And uh, I felt uh, great. And since uh, I found out about that, discovered in my body, there's so much more. Mm. And and I did uh, like uh, 26 of these world records, but numerous more challenges in the heart nature, as they so call it. Mm. Uh, the heart nature uh, to me it's the warmth and the energy and the power as you explained to me what's your name again Tom oh yeah Tom <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get my no I'm joking <laughs> well, eyes eyes with me <laughs> uh, but great uh, you just told me about your cold showers mm. two and a half weeks ago you stand up uh, you rise at uh, five o'clock mm. and you feel full of energy mm. I know I recognize all that because yeah, your vascular system is so trained, the the, the oxygen flows so much better in mm. your body, 
and you become alkaline, it's like a, a electricity, mm. man. You got so much en more energy because it gets into the, into the cell and it creates more energy. I know all the chemical stuff now behind it yeah. because I work with all kinds of professors and doctors on this uh, and, and we are into major scientific breakthroughs just uh, taking cold showers breathing better yeah. and the mindset that we are capable of so much more yeah yeah well that, i mean that's the thing like when i when i started doing it it was more so i mean i was like i said before i was super vibrant and energetic and ready to go but also like the little negative thoughts um maybe i had like oh you know is there going to be like a massive class today that i'm gonna have to isn't that, that they just weren't even there at all uh, that that's probably what i was most amazed about it was the the thought process not just how how i felt lift psychological the lift, lift the cloud off your off your yeah, mind really early to start exactly, the day exactly exactly and uh, you know the big helmet the heavy helmet of the thoughts uh, uh, tolling around all day long mm -hmm. making you heavy uh, oh yeah uh, what's this it affects your experience mm. for sure now if you uh, take these cold showers and breathe deeper you get deeper into the brain. You're losing yourself. You disconnect from all this thinking. Yeah. You just feel great. Yeah, so, totally. So when, yep. we, when, when did you correlate? I mean, obviously, uh, you started doing this 25 years ago or something. These cold, yeah, even cold, more. 35 years 35 ago. 35 years ago. So, so when did it become, um, okay, this feels really nice. This is a good way to start the day. When did you start actually putting more time and effort? How did it become such a... Mm such a phenomenon yeah and when did all these challenges and stuff start how did it all come about it all began with the soul search mm. i wasn't satisfied with things the way they 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 run uh, every day and i see too much uh, you know like people being not open not enthusiastic going to work uh, the same cycle over and over again no it's like encapsulating your mind mm. So it creates disease, it creates a lower being, a lower libido, lower uh, of everything. So uh, I went into this soul church, uh, visiting uh, and practicing a lot of esoteric disciplines, practices, cultures, traditions, languages. Look, I became a soul searcher. Mm -hmm. And a soul searcher always becomes a finder. And I found out one, day, one morning, uh, walking in the park, uh, Sunday morning, nobody was there. Uh, everybody still sleeping, of course. Uh, uh, Sunday, yeah. Huh? And uh, uh, there was a thin layer of ice on the water, and it just attracted me. Mm. I went in, and I I, I felt this is it. Mm. Not because I was thinking about it, because I felt it. Mm. And that I was looking for the mind body connection directly, the way nature meant it to be and i felt great afterwards i was only one minute inside mm. but from there whenever you feel good about something you, you go back oh yeah yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. And i have a real problem with that actually late, <laughs> late at night i can't seem to oh never mind never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> well, well, now it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, from there, I came back every day during the winter, getting into the ice water. And guess what? I began to uh, become aware of my breathing. If I was breathing deeper, then I could stay longer in the, in the water. Mm -hmm. And a couple of months from there, experimenting with it all, and don't do it uh, at home yet, eh? uh, don't mm -hmm. do that because I'm not recommending directly going into the water and, uh, and doing all this, but I did it. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, progressively, gradual, in control, doing the right breathing, making me able, 25 of these breaths, to, uh, while I was immersed in the water, uh, up to my neck, then take a full breath in, go down for five to seven minutes every time under oh. the ice. At ease, eh? fully mm. under control, and that gives it a tremendous power because the, the cold is you don't feel the cold anymore, mm. it's oxygen inside the deeper layers of your physiology going into the tissue. And when that happens, the uh, chemistry of the body is changing and it's under your command, you know how to manipulate it. 
So when you're doing these breathing techniques, I, wow. I did the. Um, it's, other, this is cool. I, it's great stuff. Yeah. I did the ice bath. I've done. I've been doing cold showers as well for a while now. Mm. Um, I did the ice bath last night with for the listeners. Uh, um, there was an evening with Wim Hof. I, I happened to be there. Did the ice bath. Now, is it when you you're you're doing your breathing technique, which we'll go into the actual how that works. But when you're doing the breathing technique, then is it something that you have to actually say? It's your mind. Your mind, because you change the physiology of your body, is your mind the next thing that has to tell your body how you want it to respond? Because you've changed your physio- physiolo- physiology in more ways than one with the heat, with the, the toxins in your body. So, so is, it, yeah. is it breathing, breathing, and then your mind has to do exactly. the rest? Keep it simple. It is just the mind and the breathing. Both can, you know, make up the chemistry of your body. And we are in command, in possible command. That's my body connection. But for that, we have to change the chemistry of the body, becoming more alkaline. Mm. If we would do the breathing right now, and we had the uh, pH strips, like acidic to uh, al- uh, alkaline, alkaline, then within 20 minutes, we become alkaline with these breathing techniques learned in the cold. Mm-hmm. In the cold, you have to be effective. Mm. Cold is merciless but righteous. Mm. So I, fu- I, I found out that uh, just uh, by changing uh, my uh, breathing, I had a much more uh, willpower command over my body. And I could, and since then I've been doing amazing stunts, mm. and all the science, uh, scientific world could not understand yeah. how this was possible. And uh, yeah, my 26 world records in various disciplines, from endotoxin to climbing Mount Everest in shorts, yeah. or Kilimanjaro, <laughs> or running without <laughs> training, a full marathon beyond the polar circle in shorts. A barefoot half marathon. I think you'll hold yeah. that world record of the Mount Everest one for a while, Wim. You know, I don't think anyone's going to try and beat you on that one. The reason yeah. I love that one the most is because you were wearing shorts, but what stopped you was a foot injury. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, it's like, yeah, look, I'm pretty much naked here. I'm on the, you know, the, the harshest mountain in the world, but yeah, I've got a sore foot, so I'll, I'll probably trek back. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Hey, with um the, the cold showers, I, I love the, the focus on the breathing because um the first time someone sort of told me, you know, oh, I'm following this guy, Wim Hof, and he's, he's talking about the breathing and, and the cold showers. I, I was kind of like to myself, oh, I'll just jump in there. Should be okay. This was only, you know, like I said a couple of weeks ago. Turned it on right full cold, and um, I went in there, and I actually started to suffer. I was, oh, 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 and I woke up, Dad, he, he probably thought something a little bit more sinister was going on. But uh, it's, it's just... It's just <laughs> now it becomes interesting Dad, again. Dad, 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 Dad. <laughs> it wasn't oh Luke, it was oh the super Luke. Call Dad, call Dad. <laughs> no, but it's, it's amazing how, you know, the, I did that the first time and it was, you know, just went to shit because I didn't know what I was doing. And then when I tried to pay more attention to the breathing and I'd almost sort of meditate before I did it and got really deep and relaxed and then I went into the cold and it was just so much easier it was amazing you know wow it was just the, it was just that that breathing focus you know yes yeah, can, can great. you explain the actual because bre- people yes. people don't really know it. we're yeah. just talking about breathing like, can you explain or even show us because I was doing it last I wasn't sure if we are doing it right like, mm. can you sh- show us what you mean by the breathing mm. yeah the, the, the breathing changes the, the alkalinity in the blood and in the tissue uh, when that happens, the chemistry uh, is optimized. What do you need to go in an extreme, like cold impact, is force on the body. You need to be optimized. Mm. Now, if you make yourself optimized using breathing to get deeper in the tissue, then you optimize the chemistry, and then the pain signal will not come even under the stress of a cold a, f- a freaking cold mm. shower, mm-hmm. yeah. I real, I, I mean, ice water, mm. even that, and it shows uh, that we are. Um, I've been doing stuff, uh, but doing the breathing well, optimizing my chemistry, makes uh, me almost invulnerable. Mm. It, the, the water feels soft. Mm. Why? Because it's about the chemistry. The chemistry is able to neutralize the impact on the nervous system 
uh, of uh, the, uh, the the impact of the cold, a, a, a force on, uh, and, and we got this chemistry, mm. and it can be uh, uh, under our command. Mm. So uh, changing the alkalinity of the blood, that's just one. We just completed new studies, and it all shows that people are able to tolerate pain far more by influencing that chemistry within the body. So mm. it's not only about the cold, it's also about the heat, deprivation of uh, oxygen, like Mount Everest or Kilimanjaro, and then in short. But uh, also the daily stress, and also emotion is stress, and also what a Baxil and a virus and a bacteria are creating is stress. And we are able, if we just go in with the breathing to change the chemistry of the body, optimizing it, and then it tackles all these problems mm. with, uh, uh, with no problem. Mm. It's amazing. That's, That's amazing. Yeah. And it's so simple. Why is it so unknown then, do you think, to the, to the Western world and to people that have these daily issues? I think uh, because people have choices. And today, if, if you say to people uh, without knowing, yeah, do you like to take a cold bath or a warm bath? Hey, mm. <laughs> I think almost hundred mm. yeah. percent goes into the warm bath. Yeah. So it's learning how to consciously expose ourselves to a discomfort which optimizes the effectivity of our body, mm. and that's all about it. And that's why it's not knowing. I went in after a soul search, looking in all kinds of books and languages, traditions, blah, blah, and, and so much more. But the call brought me directly to what I was looking for, this feeling inside. Mm. And it's all inside, inside everybody. And now it showed that I, um, uh, after training, uh, say, uh, 12 people, uh, in the cold for four days, they were just able to take a bacteria and to control it within a quarter of an hour mm. because their optimized chemistry makes them suddenly under their will of what science said that is not possible because that's the autonomic nervous system. We opened it up. Mm -hmm. And now it's accessible for everybody. They all 100% score uh, after injection of the uh, bacteria were able to uh, make it go away. And what did you take? What did amazing, you take these, huh? It is amazing. What did you hey. take these students through? You just took, when, when in preparation, so you had four days of these guys. What, what specifically did you take them through? You taught them the, the, um, the breathing. Is it just the breathing? It's breathing just the, just and focus. Breathing. Listen, and if focus. you, if you, yes, if you get your focus, it also showed in the university that uh, me after uh, uh, just standing there, taking blood of me while motionless standing there, uh, me by just thinking after breathing well, chemistry right, then my body becomes under my command in the depth in the autonomic nervous system, and it shows in cell activity, that without movement, I'm able to raise my cell activity 300%. Mm. That's wow. like running, but without moving. You raised your body temperature in an ice bath, didn't you? Uh, 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 that it is. <laughs> that, uh, and then <laughs> I have what, what no problem. Not, not to say I'm not, my, my body temperature is not going to drop. You, you were like, well, actually, yeah. motherfuckers, yeah. that's going to go up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it did. Yeah. And it showed 80 minutes in the ice bath, and the core body temperature even raised. Hmm. And I was able to talk to the professors, to the doctors. Nobody saw me shivering or anything. And uh, it shows. And uh, they took the blood while I was in. Uh, and they uh, exposed it in the laboratory. And they, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they had a bacteria, uh, uh, E. coli bacteria. Mm -hmm and the toxin implemented into or getting inside this tube with my blood. And normally it has an enormous reaction on the immune cells yep. of that blood. With me and my blood, zero reaction. So mm. it, was, it, was you, it was supposed to give you a fever or something, right? Yes, fever, yep. headaches, overall agony, like a good flu. Mm. Mm. Like a really nice flu. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious, you know. Bit of, bit of potato on the side. Yeah, really good. yeah, yeah. Uh, after doing this, 
like what we showed yesterday in the venue here, uh, people should be able to counteract any flu coming up or any cold or any inflammation if they just take it up. Mm. Get, uh, learning how to breathe better is bringing uh, the oxygen in the tissue. That's where, that's our, yeah, the tissue where the mm. emotions, psychosomatic things happen, the dirt of our body, the acidity get, gets there. And we are able to function, but we because we breathe shallow, it stays over there. And that causes all the diseases. That causes dysfunctionality. That causes that you are not able to tackle the flu mm. because your system is full of shit. Mm. So uh, uh, what we do, simply, I tell to everybody uh, by this podcast, to, uh, uh, and we got this on uh, like a free course on our website. Eh? Yeah, we'll put it's, that in the show notes it, so everyone can link. Yeah, there's no money involved. It, yep. it, just go and learn the basics look into the physiology of uh, already conducted studies we have proven all this mm -hmm. and this is going to change our way we think of inflammation pain depression all that shit yeah. so uh, taking the shit out we become natural optimized being able to yeah have a control over the hormonal system immune system far deeper makes us happy strong and healthy mm. yeah that's what it's all about. What did anyone really? not say yes to that? Mm. I'm excited. I'm, I'm a little bit too excited. I've got to remove myself from the room for a second. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, good, uh, yeah. good show in the morning, man. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Getting optimized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm optimizing. It's just been a really, really uh, deep sexual connotation. Yeah. Hasn't it? <laughs> it really has. <laughs> hey, hey Wim, so. Yeah, what about, I, I have to say. Go on. If and the virility, which is a gene expression in the DNA, we got there. So people, if they do, do this breathing, the virility say, Viagra, goodbye. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Viagra. Wow. Yeah. 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 No need for that. Beat it, sucker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Have a good time. Let the Viagra should do some breathing techniques. <laughs> Ultra Viagra. Yeah. Yeah. So basically... Um, I'm pretty sure what we're trying to say is actually we're not going we're not going further into the okay, We don't need okay. to go too far. Hey, I've got a question. I've got the message. <laughs> hey, I've got a question regarding like because you've been you've been um, harping on about this stuff for a long time, Wim, and I'm I'm sure that before this study in when was it 2011 the the, the study I'm sure that before the study in 2011 no one was taking it seriously. Is that fair to say? Yeah, man, a lot of mockery and cynicism and critical uh, minds about this. Saying that I was completely crazy, and uh, you know, uh, I'm still crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, you're crazy, but you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's cool. I'm crazy about the life, man, and I'm right too. Yeah, I already uh, 25 years ago told that the autonomic nervous system, immune system, can be influenced deeply, and uh, yeah, and uh, there you get the critics uh, over you. and uh, together with that, a lot of mockery and cynicism. But now it's science. Is that why mm. you did a lot of these? Um, a lot of these feats, such as the Everest thing, such as the the, the running through the the Kilimanjaro, marathon, and yeah. is, is that be, to, yeah, to, to show, show people to get yeah, listen to it. me, look at me, look at what I'm hey, doing? Hey, words they don't understand, they just take you up for an idiot. But uh, if you do feats, they gotta scratch their uh, the backs of their heads mm. and begin to think, hey, what is this guy doing? And so the scientists they uh, did because. I got on uh, a big broadcast by BBC, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, yeah. ABC, NBC. Uh, I don't know. Was there too many television? Vice, yes. Vice Media, yeah, that's uh, a new uh, one. That's a good uh, one. Oh, yeah. Vice was a good one. Nice uh, as a story explaining the real uh, deal. Mm. And um, yes, uh, yeah. then uh, the scientists took it up because they, hey, what this man is doing, uh, what he is stating on television, and what he is doing, this cannot be done, but he is doing it. Mm. So this is the way the scientists began to invite me to experiment uh, and to show by scientific scrutiny that uh, my statements, and it showed directly. Mm. I went into uh, this uh, uh, physiological department of the university, and uh, a lot of professors monitoring. Uh, it was all there, a big circus. 
because yeah, what uh, what kind of a, a physiological experiment it is? A guy goes 80 minutes exposing himself into freezing cold up till his neck and being uh, completely uh, controlled by all kinds of wiring pills uh, inside to measure cold body temperature taking blood all the time long uh, heart meter saturation the whole thing you know like mm -hmm. 20 of these computers and monitoring connected with me i uh, looked like a marionette man yeah <laughs> and uh, being in the eyes and with a big mask to see about the acidity and things like that uh, uh, and then they found out what i was doing is uh, 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 is influencing into the autonomic nervous system and uh, in the hormonal system and in the immune system and even deeper they did not have the right measurement devices a couple of years ago now mm -hmm. they see that i created brain waves that i'm in the deepest of the tissue mm -hmm. they had not uh, these measurement devices yeah. but what they had done that uh, normally could not have been done physiologically mm. uh, uh, seen like uh, uh, as science is uh, saying this is the ca capability of the human physiology but he is surpassing all this mm. and they had all this uh, measurements like core body temperature Mm. Not uh, not only not decreasing in 80 minutes, going up. That's insane. And yeah. no shivering, and then cell activity, like three, four hundred percent more than normal uh, while I'm doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Six, seven hundred kilos of ice uh, around me. I cannot do anything. Mm. Uh, and uh, and he's raising uh, his core bo uh, body temperature, the uh, metabolic uh, rate uh, of activity in the cell. Uh, 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 and then uh, uh, taking the blood, as I told you already, in uh, ex vivo, uh, that means in laboratory without me, but normally a enormous reaction on the immune cells and now zero reaction. Mm. They never had seen that. Mm. So they invited me for more to see if I was able to counteract uh, endotoxin uh, uh, in life. Yeah, and so I did. But then they said, hey man, but you are the Iceman. It takes uh, so much training. Uh, you are an exception mm -hmm. that confirms the rule. I said, no way. Yeah. Everybody is able yep. to do that. So guys like you, I took on like 18 and 12 of them got selected to do it. It was all randomly chosen people not subjectively, all objectively, without me. Mm -hmm. And I took them on, and four days later, they were all, without prior uh, experience in the cold, being able to stay for hours from minus 10 to minus 27 oh. on a mountain, in short, <gasps> having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> good time! Good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Not only surviving, but yeah. having a real belt up. <laughs> yeah, man. And uh, then I knew of these guys, uh, they are able uh, to tackle the bacteria anytime. Mm -hmm. And four days later, they were in the hospital and they all did 100%. Wow. So within a quarter of an hour, that means not only these guys are able to do that, anybody can do this. Mm. So, so what goes on in your mind when you're when you're in the cold? Um, not just a not just a normal sort of shower here and there, like a real eighty minute submerged in ice. What what are you thinking? What are you? How are you? How are you going? Yeah, I truly do not think too I don't much. Think, yeah, you're, you're not going for a picnic if you go into the <laughs> ice cold, but you learn to mind about your feeling. Yeah. And if you do that, then suddenly you become aware that you are, if you would look biochemically at it, that you are erasing your uh, adrenaline, controlled mm. stress hormone. If we got a, a good shot of adrenaline, we become strong, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. But we don't, do not know how to control it anymore mm. because we don't get into this uh, uh, dangerous situations no more. So it's not stimulated, this connection by our command, the conscious mind, and the brain stem where uh, all the uh, adrenaline is being made and all the other hormones, the hormonal system. And so we are not able to uh, get, get, uh, get this adrenaline going when we, what? We are mostly victims of this stress hormone, mm. adrenaline, mm. stress, called stress. 
the stress oxidates in the cell, deregulates the DNA, and the whole thing, and we don't think, uh, we cannot uh, have control over that. And I say we can have control over that. And that's what we do uh, when we go in an ice bath. Just mind your breathing, be with your feeling, then the natural mind-body connection into the brainstem will set up, make adrenaline, and suddenly you feel, hey, I can do this. Mm. Hey, man, that's the way nature meant it to be. Well, it's pretty amazing yeah. considering how much the um, how much adrenaline, the hormones, and anxiety and stress and everything that goes on in our head and our body, how much negative impact it has. So obviously, it's very powerful, but like we talk about anxiety and depression, there's so much of that that comes in a real, um, in a bad sense. It's amazing how strong the human body is. It's pretty powerful and it's just surely it was built to use those powers in a good way as well you know what i mean we, we yes. weren't we weren't obviously evolved to well obviously there's there's reasons for the anxiety anxiety and and stuff back in back in prehistoric history and stuff but surely there's ways that we can and you're proving it that we can use our amazing human body for good Yes, and uh, you know, uh, the prehistorics were the prehistorics. Those were those circumstances people had to survive. Mm. To, so they resort much more to this uh, adrenaline. But the neurology of our brain has evolved so much, accelerated so much. We have uh, 20 times more neurological pathways than in the Middle Ages. Right. Well, wow. last 50 years, and they take the example. Apollo 13, big time, people go to the moon. Mm -hmm. Step one, step uh, uh, for a man, a huge step for human mankind, things Mm -hmm. like that, you know. And all these control chambers uh, from the earth and the uh, the moon, that's big time. So uh, now we got all that Apollo project in an iPhone. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. That's that's our uh, uh, neurological uh, product. Mm -hmm. And we are not aware of this neurology, mm. but now it is the time for this neurology to uh, re-enter into this adrenaline state, the prehistoric state, and thus uh, uh, gain control over that. Uh, makes our uh, uh, neurology flow a lot better. Uh, we are in command, and thus we do the brain research now. And uh, the professors, they have seen this, what I do with the autonomic nervous system, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. It's all in the brain, in the deepest part of the brain. We are over there creating the right waves, like gamma and delta and theta. It's like being at ease. Stress hormone completely controlled. Not being in stress, be fully relaxed. Mm -hmm. And and that is uh, uh, very important for those who suffer mm. from PTSD, trauma, fear, depression, psychosis, call it. And we do not have any answer to it. And now we got it. We're going to prove this very soon, uh, with, uh, together with the uh, universities of mm-hmm. uh, San Francisco, Detroit, and uh, uh, Hanover. And what, what exactly will you do in those studies the, for PTSD? And like, what training will you do? Um, Breathing. You know, same, same thing. Same thing. Right. Sorry, it is simple. So, will it be um, mm. will it be an ongoing it's, study? Like, that's a, that, that's a will it be a prolonged study? So, these people use the breathing techniques for six months, and, and how much better they felt? How's yeah, it two months, gonna, two, two months, months, and two they months. will be uh, regularly uh, scanned by MRI, fMRI, spectrographics, spectrographics, biochemical, blood, uh, and psychological, mm. and brain imaging. So, there is no speculation going to be left. It's, uh, we're going to show that we are able to create new neurological pathways, direct, very shortcut into the deepest part of our brain, enabling us to have a control, a sense of control over our adrenaline, over the stress hormones. Thus, the anxiety which creates stress, fear creates stress, trauma creating stress will be under our command. Wow. Just by breathing and minding. Simple. Hey, um, there's a there's a lot of studies that talk about mindfulness medis- mindfulness meditation and and how the positive effects of that are just amazing. 
I was reading one and they say like, mm. you know, after eight weeks doing a lot of mindfulness breathing meditation, you can have amazing effects on, you know, um, desensitizing or, or reducing the, the part of the brain that's responsible for, for the ego and all that sort of stuff and increasing the side that's responsible for empathy and, and all that sort of stuff. How do your breathing techniques, if they do, differ from mindfulness meditation or mindfulness breathing? Mindfulness, uh, breathe, uh, mindfulness meditation uh, makes you go inside uh, deeper levels of the brain, which is the limbic system. There is the parasympathetic nervous system related, which gives us peace. Mm. We need peace to get uh, cell rehabilitation and all that. And then the ego is not so much in play, uh, in, uh, in, in play because this is very much related to thought and action and doing and then we get the anxiety again and we cannot stop this loop. <clears throat> but it takes quite some time mm. to get into these uh, realms just by being mindful. It, uh, take a, uh, and the chemistry is still not right because the, the, uh, the thought and uh, mindfulness is being thoughtful full of thought, but full with the energy of this moment. Mm. And then minding about nothing, just being mindful without coming into thought. So this energy goes from neocortex, which is the loop, going on, influx, influx, and uh, associating, etc. Suddenly, there is no connection, there is no influx anymore. It's only one thing, just being mindful. And this neocortex says, hey, there is no danger, I don't need to process anything. I'm going to shut down. And then the energy goes in, and you feel without ego, because mm -hmm. the ego was related to these thoughts and all that. And it, it feels good, but it takes a lot of time. So <laughs> these breathing techniques, they bring your uh, chemistry right, uh, make it alkaline, and it gives you, uh, uh, because of uh, not breathing anymore, after retention, after uh, this breathing, people enabling a woman 82 years old, within a half hour, being able to retent from breathing, two and a half minutes. And suddenly you get a control over the chemistry inside the brain. Because the brain, the thoughts and all that, needs oxygen. Now, if you trick the brain by doing this breathing, bringing up the alkalinity, that's the functionality of the body is being maintained and it's okay, even better than normal because it's alkaline, then. Uh, we do not need to breathe for a while anymore. If, uh, being alkaline, that we take the uh, oxygen because we want to be alkaline. That's uh, uh, chemistry. That's why we breathe. Mm -hmm. Oxygen is chemistry, it's part of the chemistry. If it becomes too acidic, <gasps> then we breathe again. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way. So now we bring up the alkalinity. Then in the brain, in the brain stem, we got an oxygen parameter. And it tells us, <clears throat> it, it tells us, if there is too less oxygen, uh, because the body got, got to be uh, acidic, we cannot function anymore, we get the trigger of carbon dioxide <gasps> to, to breathe. Now it doesn't anymore, because we are alkaline. Mm -hmm. It's not sore, it's not acidic. So we are able to stay without breathing two, two and a half minutes. And this neocortex, these thought processes, the influx, the daily stress, coping with it, needs oxygen. Now it's no longer there. The body is in the right condition chemically. And it suddenly, whoop, shuts down, goes into the depth of the brain. You get all the tranquility. You get the uh, adrenaline even going within that tranquility. And uh, sets about the greatest effectivity of your body because that's what adrenaline does. In a, a dangerous situation, you need the adrenaline mm. uh, to make your body stronger, fight or fly. more effective, fight mm. or fly, mm -hmm. uh, uh, get it in the most effective state of being. 
but now in full tranquility. That's control over the brain. That's the control over the processes all over and making it the best, mm -hmm. the way nature meant it to be. Yeah. It's a circle. You see the circle? So, uh, uh, and maybe a little bit difficult to understand, yeah? But we have already shown this in scientific areas and the only now they begin to understand. Mm -hmm. So we are touching some real deep shit here. Yeah. And it is good shit. 100%. So, it's the shit. Yes. Like it's the most important thing. So the, uh, uh, so, uh, the resume of it, mindfulness, yeah, takes for so, so, uh, so too many people have no control over this loop thing, mm -hmm. you know, going on and uh, thinking, oh, I cannot meditate. Uh, and they're not uh, changing their phys physiology and, and really shutting off that neocortex like, yes. you're, like you're saying, mm -hmm. right? Yes. That's the big, the actual change inside of your body rather than just slowing the thoughts using your breathing you're actually trying to shut something off yeah. yes and and soaking the body in that yes al and it alchemy. goes within seven minutes mm. see yeah. I, that's such a good point way um, better than seven minute abs yeah seven minute abs <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. seven minute break let's do that today <laughs> seven minute break <laughs> that's a new product for you yeah, yeah. <laughs> the seven minute Wim Hof ad break <laughs> yeah that's some break dance yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now that's um that's such a good point um that, that you raise it's it's the the people that meditate because they have the goal to be happier as opposed to just you know becoming more one with like how we were supposed to live you know that's it's really interesting i love it just thought i'd mention that yeah 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 right on <laughs> yeah ice ice ice, 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 ice. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so what about when you you spoke about last night the fact that you're now it used to be that you were reaching out to people, screaming at people, hey, test me, look, I'm serious, come and see what I'm doing. Then you obviously all these feats, that's got you the attention, all these documentaries, now the studies, now people are coming to you. Yes. So now there's people throwing money at you, we want to do this study, we want to do that study um, because they've realized that what you're doing is it's real and it's, it's tangible, it's, it's been shown. So what's in the future for the research? I mean, do you think... It's a very big question, mm. and I don't want to offend any listeners that no, are no, yeah, struggling, with, right. struggling the, the with things. The more critical, but, the better. Yeah. Uh, I love it. No, but I mean, not, not, not offensive to you, but like yeah. to listeners. My, my question is, do you think that there's going to be times that we'll be able to fight cancer and, and other terrible diseases? This is what I mean. Like people obviously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give anyone false hope, but like what it, what's the future for this research? Where do you see it? And what, what are you? I think we got the right direction here. We are now capable to get into the deepest of our brain. Uh, the command is going to be much more over our bodies. And uh, we are doing the research on inflammation, uh, pain, uh, psychosis, depression and all. And that's not for nothing because they found out that this is the one, the key into it all. But we have to be uh, going very diligently because bold uh, exclamations. We can uh, beat cancer, uh, depression, Alzheimer and all that. I believe so. Mm. But I want science to back me up. Yeah, sure. So I go for non-speculative mm -hmm. uh, scientific scrutiny and bang, come on. Mm -hmm. Because I believe so and I, I think so. I mean, how much depression does a rabbit have? A rabbit. A, a, a rabbit. I mean, all this mammalians. Mm. They look pretty bloody happy to me, yeah. to be yeah. honest. Yeah, it's only <laughs> well, with humans. there's that humans. expression that they enjoy themselves like rabbits. That's what it is. Uh, we are actually mammalians, but mm. we have not the capacity of a mammalian anymore. Mm. So this one brings that back. Mother Nature, the nature of ours, the deeper physiology of ours, has the answers. Yeah. That's what I believe. But we need science to back it up. And now we got the measurement devices. But you know what? Uh, science went really slow on this because there's no money to get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's money to be lost for a lot of large corporations and companies that There's money to be lost and yeah. happiness, strength and health to be gained. Yep. Where do we go for? Well... Obviously, obviously, we go after the ladder. <laughs> obviously, it's pretty clear, but I mean, there's a lot of yeah, but people yeah, that's that would a really be good issue. There's a lot of people that you know have their 
I mean, their, their money is involved in giving people these these pills and these mm. products and these, you know, high flavor tablets and their cold and flu and all this sort of stuff. It's, um, yeah. Do you, do you get any backlash from those sorts of people? Or? Big pharma. Just, just no interest from universities and uh, it took them years. I mean, uh, I'm the first one to show that the autonomic nervous system can be influenced, not little bit, big time, that related to, uh, say, bacteria, virus, uh, diseases and all that, and, and, and depression uh, is the solution. Mm. But uh, 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 they didn't take it up. Mm. Uh, uh, that was first time in scientific history showing that we have a far deeper possible control over ourselves, preventing from disease so much more, preventing from uh, falling in strange moods, uh, so much more, we are so much more able to uh, control our hormonal homeostasis uh, and uh, immune system, making us happy, strong and healthy mm. anytime we want. And mm. that's the way nature meant it to be. Yeah. But nobody, of course, is interested in that uh, because it doesn't make money. Yeah, well, that, so, that's a thing. Yeah, sorry, but we, I uh, keep on going right now. Any backlash, and I know many of them, uh, I, I just keep on just for simple happiness, strength, and health for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also as well, I believe, because, you know, it's so unconventional to the modern way because a lot of people, a lot of Westerners tend to believe that, you know, while we've, we've progressed so far um, scientifically and medically speaking from those ages when we used to have to do that now, that now we can just take a pill and we can lose weight and we can rid our worlds of depression. I guess the ironic thing is that we're more <laughs> depressed and diseased than ever. Yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, as much developed uh, as countries we are, and so much technology we are, how many people are depressed? Mm. How many people are suffering from autoimmune diseases or cancer or anything like that? You know how far we have gotten from control and confidence and belief that we are able to become, and give that to our children. Some. Happiness, strength, and health instead of a stressful career. Go there, become the best, do the elbow work. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you have to do that. Everybody in anxiety, man. Mm. No, if we just bring it back to these deeper control within us, possible deeper control, scientifically backed up, then we will be able to guarantee the most valuable in life for every child, every person in the world, which is happiness, strength, and health. Related simply, uh, I, I, I think that's love. And, uh, 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 but love composed by control over the uh, uh, hormonal system and immune system that enables us to create dopamine, melatonin, you know, happiness, All the good serotonin, stuff. Mm. yes. And then uh, uh, the strength, the adrenaline, epinephrine, cortisol, uh, that's the power, energy management, breathing better creates more energy, mitochondria, we all showed this, and the health, yeah, that, that, that is the immune system, and we have shown to get into deepest uh, of layers of the immune system, fending off a bacteria within a quarter of an hour. I mean, that is control, but that is also the guarantee of love for a child the most valuable, and then the most valuable will stay the most valuable instead of grieving for compensation because you don't feel happy, mm. you don't feel strong, you don't feel healthy, you feel threatened by it all in this competitive, uh, competitive uh, society. Mm. You, think it's, um, you think it's interesting that none of this stuff, not particularly your method because your method's just coming to us now, but do you think it's funny that none of this is taught in schools? You just talked about children and the fact exactly. that... Exactly. N- exactly. We learn about mathematics, history, language, yeah. uh, and all that shit. I mean, it's good shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, it's, it's necessary, 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 but necessary. Yeah, it's not the many, most important thing. I speak no. many languages. I love history. I love it all. But a, a, a subject, health, strength, yeah. and happiness should be in the school system. I don't understand. Now we are able to get it in. Yep. And that's the most important. Yep. Because without that, what are you producing? Mm. What are you radiating? What energy do you have? Mm. And how are, how, how are you becoming really a, a, a positive contribution 
and productive in society if you yeah. don't get the energy yeah, that's health right. and, and, and happiness what are we doing with mm. this society mm. it must become happy mm. and strong and healthy and then the creativity is far better yep absolutely 100 the, the ceiling the ceiling for everyone is raised yes um god wim i want to touch girl. i want to touch that was amazing amazing what we just discussed i want to touch on just br- before we I'll finish up so I want to touch on some of the feats that you've done so um, you climbed past the death zone in Everest in a, in a pair of shorts you've done the full polar marathon in shorts uh, I'm looking at some of the stats here marathon in the Namib desert without any water you hung from your finger yeah yeah this one <laughs> <laughs> so, a real no, fuck tell, you us, tell us about this tell us about this feat you hung from your finger fuck you society <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> this is the one that intrigues me the most actually uh, uh, also you know the the, the, the mockery and the, and the cynicism I made I made it a big finger that's why yeah? you used that finger <laughs> nice it was, it was deliberately uh, this finger yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah we went uh, with two balloons hot air balloons yep tied in, uh, at these uh, baskets uh, to each other. I'm just picturing oh, this. Yeah, yeah, big balls. <laughs> <It's red. laughs> just two <laughs> big wind balls. <laughs> uh, go, go now, and uh, at one and a half kilometer, they, uh, there was a line, like yeah. 30 meters between the baskets. Mm-hmm. I climbed into the middle, then there was a, a device, a, 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 dy- a little dynamic rope, Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, eleven uh, millimeters, right? And then get my finger in it, hang there for half a minute. Uh, you know, one half a kilometer up in the air in midwinter. <laughs> in midwinter, you know, your hands get cold, yeah. you know, and well, you lose grip and control. Yeah, and uh, so showing that. So, uh, so uh, it was a nice trip, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a party trip. Yeah, yeah. The, one, the last party trick I tried to do, when I tried to do a backflip on a dance floor, and I, uh, I put myself in, I smacked my head and put myself in hospital for a, for a night. So I'm not as, not as good with the party tricks, but... Uh, but the only reason that happened is because he wasn't breathing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. I forgot to do the Wim Hof breathing technique yeah. before. <laughs> Breathe out, Possibly, bro. possibly, man. <laughs> um, well, but... You know, in a more serious note regarding like um, these feats that you've that you've done, tell us about a time that it didn't really go right. Like, is there any time that Everest? I, I saw something in a documentary at one point that was something with the ice. You dove under the ice and swam. In. Oh, yeah. have, tell us about one the of the times time, that it went wrong. The first time I went under, I didn't do regular ice diving underneath the ice mm. because in the Netherlands the uh, the water is quite blurry. Right. So you can't see, you can't see anything. And uh, so I'm not uh, uh, used to swim under the ice over there. Now they invited me to go to uh, Lapland. Uh, Lapland, uh, uh, beyond the polar circle, and uh, to do ice swimming over there. So they had set out a, a distance of 50 meters underneath a one meter layer of ice. Mm-hmm. Okay, I did my breathing. <sighs> Tuning in, oxenergizing, alkalinity, all there. Take them in, last. You feel it, eh? you feel that you become charged while being in the water. <sighs> Go down under the ice and then horizontally begin to swim. Okay, it was, uh, went uh, fantastic. Up till 35 meters is when the vision on my cornea the retina uh, became blurred because of the cold. We are just no seals. That's what I found out at, at that moment, you know, but uh, no, no time to think. You know, I, I was not thinking at all. Just <gasps> adrenaline covers it. Mm. Uh, I know how to do that, but uh, mm-hmm. you go into survival modus, little thinking there. Uh, uh, it just kept on. I had it measured the distance. Uh, it takes me. My stroke is one meter twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody else's one meter thirty yep. or, or or ninety centimeters. Yep. It doesn't matter. Mine is one twenty. I had it tested in the swimming pool and all. So uh, uh, I had measured forty two strokes makes uh, forty nine meters sixty. Then I'll uh, see the hole very clear and there's no problem. Mm-hmm. So. 
Uh, but at 35 meters, I uh, lost it. Mm -hmm. I lost sight. And, uh, and I got into this non-thinking state, survival, automatically. And at 48, I began to think again. Oh, 48 instead of 42. You know, subconsciously, mm -hmm. you, you keep on counting. Mm -hmm. And 48. And then I swam back, uh, six strokes back because they, they're very fast. You know, yeah, you, six. <laughs> That's after six meters yeah. breath hold underneath the ice already then this is very long like mm. six strokes like that underneath this glass uh, wall mm -hmm. and me feeling there again nothing so six over there every time six in my head six there six there six there is when my my vision the optical vision went just like that only this you know it didn't feel any agony of drowning no pain no nothing I was fully aware there but uh, the, uh, the, uh, the vision blur, uh, uh, became very little and then I went on with swimming and slowly I lost the light I lost my consciousness and went into a sleeping state <laughs> and then somebody grabbed me a diver and he brought me back to the 50 meter hole i had swum 113 meters <laughs> oh my god uh, is that one of your world records yeah, without it unofficially <laughs> it is i know what i did you know but the best thing about that one is that i lost the fear of dying yeah mm -hmm. over there and uh, the other day I had to do the 50 meters piece of cake for sure you know What's but, uh, I, I, I lost the fear the, the fear of death because if we just breathe better at the time of death and raise the alkalinity then you just go Peaceful into death. a sleep yeah mm. Mm. so what what was going through your mind can't when you, you want to do it I don't want to die but can't no, make no. you want to kind of die. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. practice it. You what, know? Um, yeah. what was going through but your mind? Easy. I, I have to tell. Don't do the breathing in a swimming pool. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, uh, in the beginning you have no control. Yes. Yeah. And you think you have the control. You feel confident. Don't do it because mm. you can lose the control. You die. It's called yeah. shallow water blackout. This is a very strong technique driven from being in nature by me mm -hmm. on Everest and uh, 26 records, they, 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 they all prove it. But I did a lot of training, very gradual, mm -hmm. yeah. very controlled. You cannot expect to do this uh, shit in, in water just in, in uh, 10 minutes or something. Yeah. Uh, 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 or in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks, do the effects of the breathing te uh, techniques derived from this and scientifically endorsed are enormous for mm -hmm. any person if he just takes it up seriously. Mm -hmm. Follow the guidelines and you will find out about the depth of your physiology, the way nature meant it to be. And that's enormous. Mm -hmm. So that's a little one. Yeah, that, that, yeah not, definitely. Not a little warning. It's a big warning. Yes, very big warning. Yep. Just use it at home. Lay in your bed together with your girlfriend or with the, with mm -hmm. your partner or whatever it is, and have a good time because it works on virility as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've, we've already discussed that. Viagra's stock is plummeting as we right. speak. Well, uh, Phil and I might do it together. We'll just jump in the ice bath. And, uh, we'll get you on a scarf. Go and yeah, win, win, win. Uh, really does, man. Yeah, it yeah. really does. Wow. So we know um, we can't keep you all day in. Before, we've got a few questions that we normally throw to at the end of our show. Before we go to those, I wanted to ask you a couple of things. So firstly, um, what's next for you now? Uh, right now... Um Going to uh, uh, Sydney and uh, I've talked with a professor over there. Yep. And uh, I want to uh, begin a foundation because I want to help charity with the money I get. I get. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I need my own living, but yeah. I don't need much. But I need what I need. Yep. And I need to make that secure as well. 
35, 40 years of training and all is getting condensed now, breaking through uh, scientifically, it's all coming. Uh, I just want to have a, a, a relaxed life. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a money graver or anything because I want to help the people and I want to help the uh, cha uh, charity mm -hmm. by having a foundation and for independent research, yep. but uh, 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 moreover also for homeless people and people who are in need. Yep. Yeah? Uh, I will uh, uh, make that foundation together with uh, the right people here uh, in Australia and Sydney. Then directly afterwards, that means in two days, I'm going to Alaska, uh, have a film, you know, the superhumans. I'm a fucking superhuman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Who what they thought? call me. <laughs> I'm just normal, and I listen to the natural uh, uh, capability of mine, taught by Mother Nature outside, and it knows more than the books are telling. So they call it superhuman. Mm. No, it's actually the optimized human being, which uh, should be uh, available for everybody. Mm. And from there, I go to the Netherlands. Uh, uh, to have new uh, scientific research. I'm in ongoing research programs. And I'm going to uh, go back to uh, uh, Alistair Overeem. He's a friend yeah. of mine. He's in, the, he's in the title in uh, Cleveland yes, in a couple, yeah. a couple of months. That's because of this. You're going to go over there for it? This is uh, because of this shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. This breathing shit. Yeah. Well, he, he started came. working with you about the time he went on this five-fight win streak or something, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And since then, he is whoop, yep. skyrocketing. <laughs> that? That's amazing. Yeah, man. Wow. That is, that's awesome. Um, so before, before we go to six from six, which is our questions, I want to ask finally, what are you most proud of in your life, Wim? Yeah, recognition that a, a, a man just with his belief is able to bring the most valuable back to the people. That means belief in ourselves. Mm. That's awesome. Yep. Easy. That's awesome. Easy said. Um, all right. So. To wrap it up, we normally go uh, three questions from myself, three questions from Tommy, six yes. from six. They're kind of rapid fire-ish questions. Um, I normally start us off. Yep. Um, so, are you? You're a well-travelled man, I would imagine, Wim. Um, yes. So, what is your favourite destination on the planet? Can be a small town, can be a country, can be a, a whole continent. Uh, maybe uh, 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 thinking of it now. Yeah, it is nature, but yesterday evening, the venue was so great, such a light energy, mm. so lovable, and uh, I think I'm going to live here in Australia. Mm. You said that last night. We yeah, like, man, yeah. like it that much. Yeah, yeah. And, I've got a uh, spare room at my joint if you ever, if you ever, if you ever need a bed. <laughs> I've got a spare uh, box in my house. If you <laughs> <laughs> we, don't need, we can put us in it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody thinks I love the cold so much. Fuck <laughs> that, man. I love the heat. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> but if there is cold, I use the cold and I love it too. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Cool. So, uh, yeah, anywhere where there is lo the love and belief with the people sharing and caring, that's a great spot. Doesn't matter where it is. All hmm. right. Beautiful. So the next question next question is um, a place, it's a similar vibe, a, a place that you haven't been that you really want to get to. can be anywhere. Yeah, it could be uh, like in uh, South America. South America is fantastic. Yeah. It's my favorite part of the world by a mile. Oh, okay. okay. You would love it because it's just full of natural wonders. Okay. Glaciers and rivers, yeah. waterfalls, volcanoes, well, it's all there. Yeah, and my uh, Spanish is perfect. Yeah. So mm, yeah. Uh, I'll be uh, okay, cool. Yeah, see you there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, over. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay. I'll stay here. <laughs> um, last question for me is, if you're on a desert island, women, you've got three things to keep you sane, entertained, so forth. Um, you've got water and a toothbrush and all the, you know, the necessities. Yeah, what yeah. are the three things that you got to keep you sane? Uh, your sexual partner. Hey. Easy done. Yep. Easy Again, done. I'll chime in there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a good swimming pool. Yeah. Well, you got the ocean. Oh, if we got the ocean. Keep that one. Keep oh, that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe some uh, communication device yeah. for, uh, to be with the rest of the world. For sure. And uh, yeah, the last one. Just, just be happy. So happiness. I don't know if that's a thing. But, it's not a uh, tangible thing, but we'll take it. Mm. All we'll right, take it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good job. Did all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Wim. Did you have a role model growing up, or do you have a current role model? 
uh, oh, like a role, someone model. you look up to. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, it was my brother. Mm. He went uh, when he was sixteen. Uh, you know, hitchhiking from the Netherlands to India. In those times, it was all different. And uh, he did several of those things, and he always came back in this strange way, and that uh, sort of mystical. Mm. You know, cultures and traditions and different ways of thinking make people think different, be different. And that, I found, was mystical. So he was a, a sort of a role model. And then uh, I read a whole lot. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Sears and uh, uh, Mandela, Gandhi, uh, all, all those people, and you know, great sports, uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, people like that, uh, diverse people. You see them and they inspire. So, but anybody who inspires you, that's your role model. Could be your neighbor. Yep. Probably not my neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a good, he's a good guy. Love your neighbour. Frank? Frank, Frankie's all right. He's, he's, uh, yeah. um, what do you like to do in your in your downtime when you have some downtime or spare time? What, what do you like to do? Uh, a lot of gardening, painting, mm. making music. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, we got a jam after this, don't we? Yeah, you know, yeah. Smash the guitar nice, out. That'd nice, be good. Nice. So uh, yes, and um, yeah, uh, when I get my rest and my peace. That it's begin to itch again. I want to change the world, mm, mm. and I, I I think I can do that together with uh, non speculative science. Yep. And somebody's got to do this, so we do this. You guys do this too. This is good work. We may invigorate Thanks, people. Man. We spirit people. We optimize our uh, mental skills. We feel love for the life. We we love it. We love it. That's why we wanted to get you on the show, Wim, because yep. me, me and Tommy. We, we started off, just to diverge, sorry, but we started off with lots of fitness and adventure um, interviewers from, from our show because that's like who we could get access to and so yeah. on and so forth. But that, we've had some great guests and these guys, we're going to keep continuing to talk mm. to people like that. But these are the stories that need to be told to the world. And although we only have a small listenership, this is what myself and Tommy are both passionate about, mm-hmm. bringing stories that will actually change things and, and different perspectives. I recognize perspectives, that. Different mm-hmm. I recognize you know? that spirit. Yeah. And I love that. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, being little or being big is the same thing. Mm. We all share uh, the love for life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it is being spirited. And then you get the stories. Mm. Because spirited people get into stories. They make their own stories. Mm. And those stories are interesting. Yeah. Bloody oath. Yep. Um, And final one, my friend. Um, If you could have three people dead or alive uh, to dinner, um, who would they be and why? And your family can be there. Just three um, three people that you'd love to chat to. Apart from Bill and myself, obviously. (laughs) (laughs) I think... think, uh, my mother, Mandela, and Michael Jackson. Mm. Michael Jackson, nice. Yeah. Why Michael Jackson? Yeah, uh, I love him. Yeah, yeah. He, he was made, one of mine. Uh, so such a great me. My son is uh, he's called Michael because of Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah, uh, his moves, man, and mm. uh, his music, and his vulnerability too. He was traumatized in his mm. youth and, and all that, man. The way he gets out, he's a victim of his, you know. Mm. And uh, but uh, those, yeah, Mandela, my mother, and uh, Michael Jackson, the three M's. Love it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be drinking big M's. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, and uh, finally, Wim, um, if people want to find find you on the internet on social media, um, what should they what should they look up? How can they find you? Uh, on internet is by innerfire.nl and L is the Netherlands so innerfire that's not out of fire but innerfire and from there it shows it itself there is a free course and you can take it on and then you you know you, you feel it because feeling is understanding awesome Amazing. hey Wim um, thanks for coming on the show and hopefully we'll get to uh, do something like this again because I'm talking to your, your son and I'm about uh Getting you on one of our getting you on one of our trips for some coaching for our for our crew. So great! Stay mm. tuned to yeah. all the uh, all the listeners for that. Hopefully, um, we'll spend a lot more time learning from the Iceman. Yeah, man. We uh, just it. keep it up. Beautiful. Thanks a lot, brother. Keep you, it on, Thanks and you know, next time I got a lot more uh, breakthroughs. Yeah, yeah for to sure. report. 
So yeah, it'll be good to catch up. It's, totally. uh, it's going to be interesting again. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much, Wim. Thanks, Wim. Let's keep at it. Cheers, brother.